Hi, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today, I'll show you how to crochet the Alpine Stitch. I'm using worsted weight yarn and a size H crochet hook. To begin, chain 26 or any even number of chains. For row 1, skip the first 3 chains and make one double crochet. Those first 3 skipped chains will count as a double crochet. Then make one double crochet in each chain across. Once completed, you should have 24 stitches or any even number of stitches. Chain 1 and turn. For row 2, just make one single crochet in each stitch across. At the end, chain 2 and turn. From now on, a chain 2 will start every double crochet row and it will substitute for the very first stitch. Our pattern on this row 3 will be a double crochet and a front post double crochet. Since the chain 2 substitutes as our first stitch, which is a double crochet, our second stitch will be a front post double crochet. Yarn over to begin and for this stitch, insert it around the double crochet post of row 1. Yarn over and draw up a loop. We're going to extend this loop much higher than normal. This will help prevent curling in your alpine stitch. I draw up my hook just above the top of the stitches and then I finish the normal double crochet part of this stitch. And there's our extended front post double crochet. Double crochet in the next stitch, which is in the top of the single crochet row. We might need to use our fingernail to trace where it goes. Next, the extended post stitch again. Insert into row 1. Really draw up that loop. And finish the double crochet stitch. You can see the pattern. Next is the normal double crochet. And next is the front post double crochet. You can see what this looks like. The alpine stitch has a tendency to curl. To prevent this, it's important to make your stitches looser either by relaxing the tension on the yarn or using a larger crochet hook. Chain 1 and turn. For row 4, we just do one single crochet across. At the end, I'm switching colors. Chain 2. For row 5, we're going to do the opposite of row 3. The chain 2 will substitute the front post stitch. So the second stitch is a double crochet. Now we go back to the front post stitch, which will be done around row 3's normal double crochet. Begin the stitch, bring that yarn up, and finish the stitch. And a double crochet next. Next is the post stitch again around the plain double crochet from the row 3. Double crochet again. Continue with this pattern across the row. At the end, chain 1, turn, and make one single crochet in each stitch across for row 6. At the end, I'm switching colors. For row 7, begin with the chain 2, which substitutes for the double crochet. And do what we did for row 3. Next is the front post stitch. 
then the double crochet. Then the front post stitch. If you notice, we do the opposite of what we did on the previous double crochet row. Double crochet over post stitches and post stitch over double crochets. Continue with this pattern across the row. Always follow with a single crochet row in between. You can use a stitch with a solid color or I like to change colors every two rows to get the nice gradient effect. As you proceed, just remember to put double crochets over post stitches and post stitches over double crochets. And that's how I crochet the Alpine stitch. To get more videos like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.